Well, Greg, earlier today I spoke to the Blakely County NAACP and they told me that they made several attempts to reach out to the sheriffs in hopes of getting a meeting, but they've not heard anything back. Blakely County Sheriff Chris Cootie remains on the job after being accused of inappropriately touching popular TV judge Glenda Hatchett at a conference in Atlanta. Now the NAACP is speaking up with hopes of getting some questions answered about the case. They're asking the sheriff to take off his badge until the case is over. He needs to be suspended from his position. She says nothing being done speaks volumes. Are you saying that it speaks volumes for the governor or both Blakely County and the governor? Blakely County and the governor. Westbrook says she also thinks actions should have been taken against the sheriff for being a no-show for his recent scheduled court appearance in Atlanta. But nothing was done. A bench warrant should have been issued. The NAACP says they also believe this shows how African Americans are treated differently in the legal system. Race has a lot to do with it. People want to pretend that race doesn't, but uh, it has everything to do with it. The NAACP says the sheriff's alleged actions towards the TV judge are unacceptable and needs to be taken seriously. They're treating it like it's really nothing. Now, WGXA had questions of its own for the sheriff, and I took a trip to the sheriff's office looking to speak with the sheriffs about the case. However, I was told a staff member would give us a call later today. As of now, I still haven't received that phone call, but here are the questions we plan to present to the sheriff. Did you touch the judge inappropriately? Why are you continuing to work despite the case against you? Why didn't you attend the recent hearing in Atlanta? Do you think you're setting a good example for staff? If we hear back, we'll be sure to let you know both on air and online at WGXA.TV. Reporting in Blakely County, I'm Carlos Stevens, WGXA News.